Hello and welcome to this Business Central video. Today I want to talk about the different environments that you have with your Business Central trial and with Business Central in general and how you can go about creating another environment, a sandbox environment. So this is another video in the video series that I've been putting together called Making the Most of Your Business Central Trial. So with Business Central, as well as your trial, you get one production environment, which is where your live company sits. So where you're, you set up your company, where you do all your transactions, your invoicing, your statements, your journals, your financial reporting, everything is in that live company in what's known as the production environment. But you also get three other environments, which are totally separate called sandbox environments. Now, what is a sandbox? So a sandbox is essentially just that. It's, it's a play area where you can create a totally separate environment from your production environment to test things like uh, if you were doing some customization, some development with uh, Business Central, um, you could create a, a sandbox and have your developers create um, all their customizations and development in. Now, you can create up to three of uh, three sandboxes and, and generally how it's used is you'd have like a sandbox for your development which you'd let your developers just access and run riot and they can do whatever they want in there while they're building their applications um, and then you'd have an area another sandbox where they did called like a sandbox uh, test where they deploy that development uh, that your users could then test it um, and then you can even have an extra area, another sandbox, um, well, like a QA and a environment where you can de deploy that, which and it's more of a mirror of your production environment. The idea here is that you're thoroughly, thoroughly testing any development before you then deploy it into your production environment. But if you can still use sandboxes, even if you have absolutely no development at all, they're still a really, really useful tool. Uh, and I'll show that um, further on along in the video. So if we just nip into this, I thought we'd start nicely in this Microsoft document um, because further down here, it talks about all the environments. You can find it here at this URL. And further down here, we can see it says here that we get one production environment and three sandbox environments. So there it is. That's exactly what it is. So now we know all that, how do we access the additional environment? So if we go into Business Central, and here I am in Business Central. Now I'm logged in as an administrator. And I'm, if I click this, the cog here, you can see I've got something called the Admin Center. Now the Admin Center is where you create your extra environments. Now you can do all sorts of stuff in there uh, where you can um, uh, manage those environments. Um, one of the key things is you can create new environments in there. So how, but if just one thing to note at this point, not everyone has access to that admin center. You can imagine you wouldn't want anybody just going in there because you can delete things in there and all sorts. If I go to my other user, if you can remember, we dished out a license in a previous video to Adele. If we click on the cog here, Adele doesn't have access to that admin center. Now, the reason she doesn't have access to that admin center is because if I go into my Microsoft admin center, and this is where we've been dishing out licenses in a previous video to all our users. This is where we've set up the shared mailbox for emailing. And also what I could do if I wanted Adele to have access to that admin center, I could click on Adele here, um, go to manage roles on Adele. And if I go, this is where you can do all the high level things. But if I go show by category, I've got something called Dynamics Administrator. Now, if I was to give Adele access to this, this particular role, then she would be able to access the admin center. So there may be some select users that you want to be able to administer, like super users of Business Central, as well as your global users, your IT users. Okay, so if we go back to Business Central now, and we'll pop into this admin center. We'll have a look at what environments we've got. So if I click on admin center, he asked me to log in. So I'm going to choose my admin user. And here we are. We're in the business central admin center now. And here we can see my, I've actually got three environments. So this is my main one. Like I say, this production environment was created automatically when we set up our trial. So this is where if I was running with business central, um, this is where my live company would exist and this is where I'd do all 
my live transactions would have my live companies in there. But I could also set up these development environments. Now, in this system, I've got a dev, I've got a sandbox dev. This is the environment where developers would go in and while they, they'd hook up VS Code, something called VS Code, and they'd do all their customizations in there. And then they deploy them to the test. People would test them and go, yep, that's great. And then finally, they put them in the production environment. So how do I access that sandbox dev? What I do is I just click on sandbox dev and then I click on this, the URL, and that takes me in to that sandbox environment. Now, this is just like your production environment looks exactly the same. Um, you can, I can go in here, I can create other companies and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and you can see it's isolated here on the URL. It says sandbox dev. If I click on this little link here on the right hand side, you can see I've got two environments. This is the production area where all my production happens. And this is this sandbox area. If I close that down now, go back into my admin center, go back to my environments and the same there. If I want to access sandbox test, click there, click on that URL. I can access my production environment there, clicking on that link as well. Uh, I've already got it open there, uh, but this is how I can, using these hyperlinks, I can access the, the different environments. So I actually get three sandboxes. So at the moment, I've only got two. So if I wanted to create a brand new one, I can click new. Um, and then that starts to open up like um, a little wizard. Uh, well, something on the right hand side will open imminently. Um, ready for me to start creating additional sandbox. So here it is. So I say my environment name, I'm going to call this sandbox. Uh, say, like I said, QA or something like that. It's a sandbox environment. And that little message there, we can see it saying you cannot create more than one production environment, just like it mentioned in the article. That's actually not strictly true. You can actually pay for additional. They just come at an extra cost. So if I go to sandbox, click on the country and I can select even different countries localizations that is for different uh flavors of business central for different uh areas have different functionality i'm going to choose gb because i'm in the uk and i'll click create and that's as easy as that and that's now going to create me a sandbox test now what else can i do in here i can also i can also delete environments let's just say my sandbox dev the developers have said we want a fresh copy i could go into here and i can click delete I can restore because you can restore environments uh, for a period of time as well. Uh, and there's a whole host of other things that I can do in here, which I won't go into. So the main thing is in here, I can uh, create additional um, sandbox environments. And now if I go back into Business Central, like I say, here's this is where we can see them. Now, I mentioned at the beginning that one of the reasons, let's just say you had Business Central and had no customizations at all. Sandboxes are still an absolutely fantastic tool because what you can do, as you probably know, Business Central uh, updates every couple of years. They're constantly releasing new features. This is the absolute brilliant thing about having uh, a cloud uh, platform. But they don't automatically switch them on. So if I go to something called Feature Management... And here are lots of features that are, um, that, and you can see some of them aren't actually enabled. So what could I do here? I could look down these features and I could see a feature, for example, I don't know. Um, let's have a look what we could have here. Uh, say this sales pricing experience. This isn't actually switched on now. So what I could do, I could think, right, okay, that looks interesting. I could learn more about it. But importantly, what I could do is I could spin up a sandbox, just like I just did, go into Business Central there, enable that feature. So my production environment's completely untouched. Have all my sales users go, have a play with that functionality. Let us know what it's like. Let us know if it's any good. And if they go give that the green light and say, that looks really good for what we can use it for, we can then go back to our production environment and just switch that on. If they found some issues with it and thought, okay, this, yeah, this is not quite what we want at the moment. Um, we may need to change a little bit of the way we work before we can, before we use it. Then we've got plenty of time to, to change the way we work. So that's one reason why you may want to use sandboxes, um, is to test out those new features. So that's more on um, the environments and how to create sandboxes and how you can delete them and what's their purpose. 
Um, I hope you find the video useful. The, uh, hopefully now I'll be doing some more videos around uh, getting a bit more into the nitty gritty, having a look at some of the functionality of Business Central that will help you along your way as a new user uh, with your trial. Um, so yeah, um, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks.